<clears throat> so Toys R Us is going out of business. This is old news by now. You've probably heard everyone and their mother on YouTube, on Twitter, everywhere talk about this. But because I was a kid who grew up in the late 80s, early 90s, 2000s, Toys R Us was always a part of my childhood growing up. So I figured I should probably say a few words about it and probably give you an honest opinion about why they're closing down compared to just talking about the memories of loving the store. Now, of course, um, growing up, I was brought to Toys R Us maybe, I don't know, four or five, six, seven times a year. Um, normally, I was brought there by either my dad or my grandma. And, uh, you know, you'd spend some time in there. You'd look at all the toys. You'd get to play with some of the toys, which was cool. They normally would have a display of something you could touch, hold, feel of the toys. Um, video games. Uh, if people don't remember, uh, there were slips that you would have to peel off of a rack and bring up to the front to actually get video games or the expensive toys. Um, that was something that was done away with and I don't remember when. Um, but Toys R Us was always an experience going in. You always felt like you were in a store made for you, dedicated to you as a kid because you would see everything you could ever be interested in and toys you never knew existed. For me, I was always, you know, about Kenner toys and Terminator and Power Ranger toys and, and uh, horror movie toys and alien toys. Um, not so much G.I. Joes and things like that, but I mean like Swamp Thing. All kinds of toys that you would ever want were at Toys R Us. Now when we would go into these stores, we would always go towards the Ninja Turtles first. And I remember that because me and my dad would always go into comic book stores when I was little, because my dad is a comic book collector. Well, he used to be. Big collector when I was growing up. So I already kind of had a collector's mindset when going into stores. And looking at prices was just something that we did. And when we would see Ninja Turtle toys, we would say, Ooh, maybe we should wait to get these, go to the local comic book store, because if we were to buy three of these toys, it would cost less than what we would pay for two of these toys at Toys R Us. And that is what I want to kind of want to get into before I share all my fun memories about Toys R Us. I just want to get the elephant out of the room. Toys R Us went out of business and committed suicide because they were unfriendly to customers. And what do I mean by that? They're unfriendly when it came to price gouging its customer base. Now that probably wasn't the case. Actually, it wasn't the case when Toys R Us started up. You can look at uh, pictures and prices of toys back in the 19 you know 60s and 70s or whatever when Toys R Us was still not commercialized and corporate as it is now so the reason why Toys R Us is going out of business because they are price gouging you can go on any website that sells toys and is a competitor of Toys R Us and they're always gonna have their stuff marked down ten dollars to twenty dollars cheaper than Toys R Us is always going to have. And I can tell you within the last decade, I've probably been in Toys R Us around seven times, maybe. And the last three of those times were because I had to go because we had gift cards that my kid got for, the, for her birthday that we had to use. So when we go into Toys R Us, I'm noticing, man, $50 doesn't get you very much in Toys R Us these days. That's kind of a shame. But what are you going to do? You got to use those gift cards either way. So Toys R Us, you, you, if you go on Toys R Us website right now before it's gone, and you compare toys that they've got on there with anything from Best Buy to Amazon to eBay, you're going to notice something. You're going to notice toys a lot cheaper everywhere else than, you're, than they are on Toys R Us. And that is including the physical store because I can guarantee you, I see toys that I want and I've wanted to buy at Toys R Us uh, in the last three years that I've gone to Toys R Us and I don't buy them. I have no problem spending money to get toys 
and comic books and games, obviously. But I do have a problem paying extremely high retail for toys that I know I could get somewhere a lot cheaper, like a collectible store. I can go into my local toy collectible store and get the stuff that I actually want for a price that actually is correct. And an example of this is they had the Red Alien Queen and the Black Alien Queen made by NECA. Um, Toys R Us sold both of these. I was like, holy shit, I want both of these. But they're almost $80 for both figures each. When I know well and good if I were to go into my local toys, local collectible toy store or comic book store, I would get them for maybe $50 each. What are you going to do? Now here's a perfect example. I'm going to put this up on screen. Um, these are just the collectible action figures that are left on Toys R Us's website and you can see that this Spawn figure and this Deadpool figure are still marked at higher retail but when you look anywhere else on these websites that sell these toys also you're going to see that they are a lot cheaper. And this isn't because Toys R Us is trying to pinch every penny and get as much out of you, it's because this is the way it's always been on Toys R Us. Physical store and its online store, the prices are always a lot higher than anywhere else. So there, if you wanted an honest opinion of why Toys R Us is closing down, that's why. And it's hard to, it's very hard to feel bad for Toys R Us at this point because not only do they price gouge, but in recent days, I saw an article on Business Insider that someone had posted on Twitter. And Toys R Us is blaming millennials for not having kids that hurt the company. That's why. Millennials not having kids to bring into their store to get ripped off by Toys R Us's price gouging is the reason why Toys R Us is going out of business. I'll put the link to this article from Business Insider in the description of this video, but just that alone makes me want to say fuck you to anyone working in corporate Toys R Us that made that statement. I don't fucking care, you know, how much money you're going to lose, you're not going to fuck over the consumer base and then blame the consumer base for not wanting to shop with you. I've said this many times in multiple videos, if you try to fuck the consumer, the consumer's going to turn around and say fuck you. And that's exactly what is going on here. This is the same path Blockbuster and Hollywood Video took. You do not treat your customers with the respect that other companies are starting to show people. Netflix came around and Blockbuster took them as a fucking joke. Not only did they take them as a joke, Blockbuster fucking hiked up prices on your late fees for movie rentals and gave you less days to rent a movie. Thus plummeting them into bankruptcy because people did not want to go there to fucking spend a bunch of money to rent two movies a week. Not to mention to have to pay incredible, insane late fees that you've seen horror stories of multiple times. Now that is why Toys R Us, Hollywood Video, Blockbuster, and every other company it seems from my childhood that is corporately run now is fucking themselves and committing suicide because they have lost their way. I, I could see GameStop, this being a GameStop story, in less than five years GameStop will be doing the same exact thing because we all know GameStop is not very consumer friendly. So that is my little rant piece on why Toys R Us is actually closing down and why I don't really feel that bad about it, to be honest with you. Does it suck? Yeah, it kind of sucks, but you know what? There's toy stores that are out there still. People want to make it sound like, oh, Toys R Us going out of business. This is the worst thing to happen for physical toy stores. Not really. There are collectible toy stores and comic book stores all over the place in your local areas that you can go to and find good prices and people that are actually willing to treat you like an individual, talk to you, shoot the shit with you, be friendly in person. Not someone who's getting paid minimum wage that fucking hates their job because they're being forced to sell credit cards and if they don't, they're going to get their hours docked. And how do I know this? Because when I was 18, I worked at Toys R Us. I worked at Toys R Us when I was 18 and I, when I first got hired there, I was a cashier. And it's the same exact story that you hear from anyone that works in a retail space when it comes to commercialized toys, games, or whatever. 
GameStop, same same thing. Zoomies, same thing. I worked there too when I was like 17 and fucking quit because I do not like the model of having to sell credit cards to people. And especially when you try to sell people credit cards, they get kind of pissed off at you. And if you don't do good at selling credit cards, your boss comes over and bitches at you. So when I worked at Toys R Us, I did the cashier thing for about maybe two weeks wasn't selling credit cards because first I didn't give a shit to sell credit cards because I felt like an asshole and second everyone 95 99 97 percent of people said fuck no I don't want it so I got moved over to morning crew where you stock the store which I liked a lot better because you're alone basically doing your own thing in a giant toy store and get to look at a bunch of cool shit now to the fun memories. Toys R Us was a fun place because, yeah, you got to look at toys. You got to play with toys. I have a lot of fond memories going to places with my grandma. My grandma would take us to toy stores all the time. Now, Toys R Us wasn't her favorite one because, you know, she could get us stuff a lot cheaper at other places. But Toys R Us was fun because of the atmosphere it provided. Back in those days, in the early 90s, Toys R Us had a lot more physical uh, displays that were really cool back in the day. Stuff for Nickelodeon, when Splat and Hey Arnold and Rocco's Modern Life and things like that. They had like giant displays that they would have out that were cool. They weren't like cardboard pieces of crap either. And it was just, the store was meant to be not just a toy store, but an area for someone to spend time in and mess around with stuff. It's If you've walked into a toy store in the last five years, well actually probably the last decade, Toys R Us's have not been like that for a long time. In fact, going back as far as when I was like 13 years old when we went in the toy store, or Toys R Us, I don't remember seeing anything very, I, you know, like, oh, I want to go play with this, I want to go look at this. It was just like, okay, here's your movie maniac aisle here's your uh lego aisle and here's your game aisle and all the other kind of crap but yeah toys r us was cool for a time and sadly like most things that are cool for a time when they get bought by a, many different people when they sell it off and it becomes a giant corporation sadly greed takes over and the place that you once loved plummets and falls and burns and ashes. And that's what happened with Blockbuster. It's what happened with Hollywood Video. It's what happened with KB Toys. And now it's what happened with Toys R Us. I know everyone's saying that toy or KB Toys is going to be coming back. Um, I don't know exactly the ins and outs of the if that's true or not. But if it is, that'll be cool as long as they don't fuck you. I loved KB Toys also when I was a kid. That right up here that Ultraman figure is from KB Toys that uh, talking Robocop figure is from 1993 and it still has its Toys R Us price st sticker on it for $20 I don't want this whole video to be negative Toys R Us was a cool place when I was a kid as I got older and I started caring less about toys you know when you get in about when you're a freshman in high school the last thing on your mind is toys you know, you got a lot more things to worry about. But as elementary school kid, middle school kid, that's all I cared about was getting toys and comic books and video games. But as I got older and I was able to, you know, work and you get your own money and you're going to stores and you're saying, hmm, this toy is $60. If I go to my comic book store, I'll pay $30. What are you going to do? I'm just saying. That's exactly how things are uh, for a lot of places. And unfortunately for Toys R Us, they didn't price match stuff. Corporate pushed those credit cards on store employees and would penalize them for not selling stuff. Even though it's recordly shown if you look at anyone on YouTube that's ever talked about a retail experience where they're being forced to sell credit cards GameStop Toys R Us Zoomies whatever you know 99% of people are saying no to those credit cards 
And I say no to those credit cards every time I go to a fucking retail store like that. So it just is what it is. Um, like I said, I'm not too sad about this because there are other places to go. And there's always things to buy online. And that's the sad thing because Toys R Us was not competitive. They were dead set on selling toys at the highest retail price in the last 10 to 15 years. And I don't know about you, but I like going into a store and I like the atmosphere of comic book stores. I like the atmosphere of collectible stores because you're in a place surrounded by people who have the same interest as you that treat you like a person. This isn't anything against the employees working at Toys R Us because I know how shitty the job is and I know how shitty management can be. So for that, it sucks because all the biggest thing that I think is the worst thing about all of this is all the people going out of work. Um, and this also takes away the opportunities for kids in high school to have another fucking job. You know, I mean, how many places are going to be going out of business where kids in high school aren't going to be getting jobs now because there's literally no starter jobs for kids to fucking work at besides, uh, besides a grocery store or a fucking fast food restaurant. I never fucking worked at a fast food restaurant because I thought it would fucking suck the worst. So I never fucking worked there. I always chose grocery stores, toy stores, some store in the mall, but never a fucking fast food restaurant. And now that this is gone, all these other people that are going to be out of fucking work are going to be looking for jobs. And it sucks because I know how hard it is to find a job in modern job hunting market these days. It's not fun. Luckily, I have a job, but I'm just saying it's not easy. So the ones that really lose here is not us, the people who loved Toys R Us. The real people who lose are the people that worked there and depended on their paychecks. And shit, I'm making this video kind of sad and negative again. Well, it just is what it is. Anyway, guys, I thought I would share this with you. Um, Toys R Us was a great place, like I said before, when I was a kid. It was fun to go there, but in the end, I don't really feel that guilty that they're going out of business for many reasons that I've already said. And um, uh, like I said, that Business Insider article about what Toys R Us said about millennials being the problem, <laughs> um, that'll be in the description below. This is uh, Retro or Die, and uh, I'll see you guys later. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Million toys at Toys R Us, and I'm